Hi, Facebook. Hola, como estas? What's going on, guys? Uh, we're just having some lunch, and I thought that I would answer some fan questions. We are so excited about tonight. So mm -hmm. excited. We, this season is starting off uh, on this incredible high, and we cannot wait to show you guys what we've been doing up here in Vancouver for the last few months. Yes. Um, so, I don't know if you know this, but the fans sent like a bunch of questions to me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, so I'm going to start with one that um, a lot of people ask actually, who are fans of the comic books. And that's why does Maze have like her full face? Like why isn't she in her half face? If you've read the comic books, you'll know that the writing in the books, um, you can sort of you have to really concentrate when you're reading because you can barely make out what she's saying and obviously we're a tv show so that would not i don't know be as easy for me to have scenes if i'm talking out the shadow on face <laughs> um so there's one reason but also in the comic books she does get healed so there is a full face maze in the comic books. so the writers you know as we said we're, we're a loose adaption like or we're loosely based on that um on the the comic book series uh and this is our version of it um but you little tidbit you will get to see the half face this season in a very very cool scene um the next question has to do with this man here and it's a it will maze and amina deal's relationship like will we have scenes together so i'm gonna let Dee answer that um this is uh this is gonna be really cool this season because i think what they're doing is um uh, we're going to investigate that a little bit more. We're going to slowly unravel it. So mm -hmm. uh, right now we're shooting uh, episode eight, mm -hmm. and uh, Maze and Amenadiel have teamed back up to uh, help uh, Lucifer figure some stuff out, and uh, it's going to keep growing from there. So we're really excited about that. Mm -hmm. Trying to give you guys uh, what you guys want and uh, what was successful from la from last season, and what you guys responded to so well is uh, is is where we want to go. So we're really excited about that as well. Yeah, and I think too, like, you know, any relationship with, with um, characters where they don't quite know where they're sort of fitting in, uh, these two characters are still trying to figure that out too. And that's a very human thing, right? Um, another question I saw was, um, are there any similarities that I share with Maze? <laughs> and yes, there is. Uh, um, there absolutely is. Uh, I'm fiercely loyal and protective of the people that I love, my family, my friends. My friends from high school always joke that like I was the kid who if anyone messed with them, I'd be like ready to beat them up. That's so me. That's very true. It's so me. Yes, it is. I'm very loyal. Um uh and ooh, we have a we've been disturbed. Hey. Just in the middle of something. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um and so yes, yeah, so loyal, um, I'm very uh, sort of physical and active. Uh, I love working out and I obviously love the stunts aspect of it. So the physicality of Maze is very much like me. Not so keen on like the torturing of souls and <laughs> you know, um, not really my jam in real life to be honest. Uh, I give a good silent treatment though to my husband, which is like torture. Which is really unfair. <laughs> it's so unfair. It's so unfair. I got you, Chris, man. We all got you, man. We got you. Um, and then uh, one of the other questions was, uh, will uh, there be more Maze and Trixie scenes and Maze mm. and Dr. Linda scenes? And I'm very happy to report yes on both. Um... I actually wanted, and then another question was one of what was one of my favorite scenes to film, and um, I recently did a scene with Rachel Harris uh, too, actually that is uh, as an actor just so fun to explore and play, and it's really um, I think you guys are gonna you know as women in particular, you guys are gonna really respond to it and see the kind of care and love that these two are sort of starting to form for one another um but i loved exploring that because you add like a demon layer onto that and it's very weird and and wacky so um definitely one of my favorites and yes i'll be working with scarlet who i just 
She's fantastic. I love One her so much. One of the so cutest much. kids I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Um, uh, another question I got was, did I release mom from hell? You're going to have to tune in tonight. Yeah, you're going to have to. You're 9, gonna have 8 to find Central out. on Fox. Yeah, yeah. To find out. You're going to have to really um, find out about that. But what I will say is, as you guys have read with a lot of these uh, new press stories coming out, that I have a lot of history with with mom, um, and we definitely know each other, and there's no love lost there. Um, uh, so no, there's no love there <laughs> uh, at all. But she, uh, yeah, we, you know, we'll uh, we'll butt heads for sure. And Trisha's amazing, by the way. Both Trisha and Amy oh, have just like slotted into this cast like a perfectly placed glove yes <laughs> <laughs> they are fantastic like you guys you guys are really gonna love them both and uh you know i'm i'm i've been so happy uh to get a chance to to work with trisha this year um a little bit of a uh, amenadiel backstory is uh amenadiel as we all know has always been closer to dad you know has always been closer to his to his father always trying to seek his uh his approval so he doesn't necessarily have a bad relationship with his mom but he just doesn't really have much of a relationship so this is gonna also uh, uh, be a chance for him to get to know his mother on a whole nother level which is gonna prove to be very interesting uh, so you guys are definitely gonna enjoy that and check it out and uh, a little bit of uh, self-promotion I want you guys to come over and uh, and and hop on and follow me at uh at instagram and twitter on twitter it's the real underscore db the real underscore db and at instagram it's db the number four and real so come over and join me and check out what uh some of the shots that i'm i'm putting up there and uh some of my beliefs on twitter some political <laughs> i'm a political guy but uh come check it out and join me yep yeah. um and so I'm, got, I'm remembering the questions that I that I've seen on uh, Twitter and Facebook. Um, one of the other things was, will Maze and Lucifer um, stay friends? Will they stay connected? Because it seems like she's going on this journey of independence. Um, it's a good question. Uh, they, I think, like any uh, good friendship um, or people who've just been through the thick, you know, of things in life they are always connected in, in that sense. Um, you know, she came here from, from hell, you know, she came to Los Angeles with him. She's stuck by him. She's protected him. She's been the voice of reason going, you know, things are getting out of control here. We have to go home, we're becoming vulnerable. So a lot of that first season obviously was her trying to remind him and playing devil's advocate, if you will, um, to remind him to go back home and remind him who he is not realizing that he was in a process of discovering that of who you know who he is and so there's a little bit of that happening with Maze in season two where she's discovering uh who she is and how she makes los angeles home if she's stuck here because i saved yo ass yes she did i yes, used my did. ticket home yeah. to save this guy yeah um you know and so there's that too that sort of like oh why did i do that what is what is it about this chocolate angel that i like so much <laughs> <laughs> um um so you again you're gonna see like any friendship they're gonna go apart they'll come together they'll go apart there'll be reasons um that are you know real honest truthful reasons be it the right reason but there'll be reasons for why both these characters do things uh, all three of these characters actually yeah. Um, so I hope that answers your question. Uh, another question was, um, my workout <laughs> routine. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. First of all, you guys have all seen what I wear on this show. Okay. Look at what I'm eating. <laughs> this is lunch guys. Carrot. Mm -hmm. This is my lunch. Okay. I don't do dessert. I can't do dessert. Except I she mean, drinks like a fish. No, I, I mean, don't. she just, it's like, I'm, no, she doesn't. Listen, I she did doesn't. go to the Drake concert with Kevin Alejandro this weekend and his wife and kid. We were doing some shots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I do love to work out. I have an amazing trainer um, in Los Angeles. 
um, Paolo Mes. I can't say it. He's Italian. Paolo, I love you. Meschetti, I think. I don't know. Um, but he trained or trains both uh, Kevin and myself and Kevin's wife and my husband. And he literally transformed. If you guys are going to lose your shit when you see Dan in a particular scene where they're topless, shirtless, it's Kevin is ripped and everyone, he showed up completely like different. So I work out at least three times a week with Paolo and I also do hot yoga and I have two dogs who so are very active and we hike and do that sort of stuff. But to be honest with you, like it's really about being healthy. It's not about weight or anything. So, you know, women, this is Leslie Ann speaking, women, don't be so hard on yourselves. Don't you know? at all. You're beautiful. Yeah. If you want to get healthy, that's great. Focus on that as opposed to like, you know, the weight and the numbers and, you know. Um, what else do you want to tell them? Um, this is just a great season. I mean, it just got started off um, so strong. Uh, every single storyline, every character, I think you guys are going to love this season. Um, Leslie Ann's already said it. I think Trish and uh, Amy make incredible additions to this already great cast. Um, and I just feel like we hit the ground running, you know, so I, don't, I, I just think you guys are going to be really happy. Uh, we need you guys to turn out tonight and next week and next week and next week. Yeah. But let's start with the present. So we're going to need you guys to really come out tonight because uh, especially, you know, in the States, I know there's probably going to be some Monday night football on. Yes. But you're going to have to like, you know, I'm South come African. Out. I'm come South out. African. Screw football. Um, watch rugby. Football. <laughs> but, <laughs> but definitely come check out our show. No, right? but I, you know, and I touched on this on in my interview um, with um, Amy's.com, but and I and I wanted to say this uh, on behalf of our whole cast. We wouldn't have a second season without you guys. Sincerely, we wouldn't. Yeah. And we know that as as a cast, as a crew, as a production. Um, the you know in that first season you're always sort of you know you premiere and you go to comic-con and then you 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 doing all this press and you're like please watch our show and please stay with us every week and you guys did that and it's only because you did that and you spread the word and you've been buying the dvds and watching it on hulu and fox now and you know in all different parts of the world um that we have a second season and so genuinely from us thank you so much thank you um, for supporting us and watching our show you know it's tough out there there's a lot of content to watch we're all trying to get the same audience so to have a community of fans who love the work and the show that you know that we've done um, we really do appreciate that and we hope and we pray that you just keep coming back uh, week after week after week and we're gonna continue to put on an amazing show for you guys because you are who we do this for. Yes. So, thank and, you. And we want to see like the Lucifer parties on a Monday night. Yeah. So, you know, we're on all, all of us are on Twitter um, and Facebook and Instagram. Um, so please send us your pictures, send us your videos, you know, let us know um, what you guys think. We're filming today. So we probably won't be watching the show live with you guys. Um, but we will be watching our feeds on Twitter and interested to see what you guys uh, think and and we hope that it's all good. So, yeah. Yeah. Tune in tonight. Look, look how there's like so many people from Russia. Oh my gosh. Brazil? Yeah. Hi, Brazil. Uh, you know, Zasha James. You guys are the best and I've watched everything. That's so awesome. Yeah, that we, is great. We love that. Okay, I'm... Uh, gonna sign out now and finish my uh my lunch or rabbit food listen it's all healthy do you want to wear my leather pants it's all healthy no no you can wear my leather pants and, and my like crop tops yeah i'm doing all right though you know I'll, we can swap a character for the day if you want yeah we can we can no why i really like a minute deal dark and brooding stoic no sense of humor works for me <laughs> all right <laughs> Watch Lucifer and Fox. 
tonight, 9, 8 central, off to Gotham. Tell your friends, tell your family, post, tweet, snap. Go crazy. Facebook. Hashtag the shit out of this trend. Help us train tonight. Yeah. Give us the boost we need for season two. We promise we won't disappoint you. Thank you so much. We love you guys. Oh my god, I can never turn this off. <laughs> <laughs>